What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your FPS and lower your input delay and even get zero ping in chapter 5 season 1. Now I want to take a moment to appreciate you guys' support. Thank you guys so much for everything you have put in my videos. Thank you for the likes, the subs, all of it. I appreciate you guys so much and it's going to help me to make more videos for you guys and also if you guys want to support me even further make sure to go to the fortnite item shop and use the creator code scythe but anyways let's get straight into the video if you guys go in the description you guys will see the link to this pack now if you guys do not trust this pack i will be showing you guys right now that there's no virus on it as you see no threats and there you go all right, so after you guys have downloaded my pack, which is in the link of the description, basically you want to click the folder. Basically, you'll be greeted with all of this. Now, the first thing you want to do is press create a restart point, press create and name it anything. The reason why you want to do this is because if anything in the video messes up your computer, ruins your performance, you can always go back by creating this restart point since it's, you know, a point in time where you didn't do the tweaks, you just go back to it basically and it reverts everything you did on your computer. Now for the next thing you wanna do is just open this and basically this is just for apps that you don't need on a computer. You should always uninstall things you don't use on your computer because it does take up space. And there's a lot of Microsoft programs that you might not be using like Microsoft Office and stuff like that. See, I already have it deleted, but basically you just want those removed out of your computer because you don't use them and they're not needed. You can even search up Windows needed programs and you will see that it's not really needed unless you're doing, you know, work and stuff and you guys are mostly gaming so you don't need that. For the next one, you want to go to startup apps. Basically, this will take you to your task manager. Basically, you just want to have all of these disabled because it does affect your performance when you're booting your computer. So it's really good to have all of these disabled. Now basically for background apps, basically you just want to have all of these off. I already turned them off, it says this because I did it on registry, but basically you just turn it off, turn all of these off basically. You just press this one thing and it'll just disable all of them. For the next one, you just want to go and uncheck this box. Now this is because it'll randomly make your mouse faster and slower and you don't want that. You want constant sensitivity, so it's really good to have this unchecked. Now for the next one, you just want to click custom and enable smooth edges, show thumbnails and show shadows under mouse pointer. And this is because most of the stuff that's enabled for you guys that might be enabled is taking up performance and you want the most performance you can get out of your computer. So I recommend just having these three checked. Now for the first folder we got, we got batch optimizations. Now basically this will help your ping because basically it'll delete the cache on your computer for your internet and it'll improve your cache or ping in Fortnite. So it won't be nothing like affecting your performance on there. Now for the rest of these, basically you have delete log files. That's just like temporary files and this has temporary files right here too. They're both the same thing, just files that are not needed. And then for this last one, it basically disables something that gives you uh, more delay so you want to click this too but make sure before you click these you press run administ run as administrator now for the next one basically we have command tweaks you just want to do the same thing all of these just run each all of these each and one of these just as administrator i already done them so that's why i'm not doing them but click each one of these and press run as administrator now for the next one we got a power plan basically what you want to do is just right click copy go to this pc Basically, just create any file. For instance, I'll create A. You want to paste it in there. Basically, you want to go to your search bar, type in command, run as administrator. And once, once have you, uh, once you guys ran it as administrator, basically you just want to click power. You just want to type in power CFG dash import C slash or no C. And then type A, and then type basically just this performance dot power. Basically, it'll import my power plan that I have in there, and you don't have to do nothing. It just automatically imports, and you already have it selected. Now for the next one, what you guys want to do is go to PowerShell commands, and basically you just want to go into the each README text and just. Select it and copy it. Type in PowerShell when as administrator. Now basically you just want to paste the code in there. 
and it should bring you to the window that's about to pop up. Now, once it pops up, basically you just wanna click tweaks and as you see, there's recommended selections for desktop, laptop. This is what I recommend you guys, all of you guys to use. Basically, if you have desktop, just click that. If you have laptop, just click that. Now for laptop, I personally have a laptop and these are the settings I use. So basically I, I put disable hibernation, I put disable Terido, um, delete temporary files, and I removed, I only removed Microsoft Edge because I don't use that. I use a different browser. If you guys use Microsoft Edge, do not delete this. Do not click this. And OneDrive, if you guys use this, do not click this either. But I don't have OneDrive and I don't use it. So I also click that and then I press run tweaks. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to, you know, use my settings, you guys can. But you don't have to. You just click laptop and then press run tweaks. But, you know that's for that one now there's another one in here too the debloater now basically this is also good for your computer um just want to type it in there just copy and paste it in there just wait for it to load it's also creating a restart point for you guys in case anything messes up and basically you just want to click remove all bloatware you want to click disable for cortana because you don't need that disable edge pdf and only press uninstall OneDrive if you don't use OneDrive and disable telemetry, you wanna press that too. Basically, once you have all of these selected, your computer should run better. You just gotta restart it though. Make sure to restart it after doing this. Now for the programs, we got Fortnite Potato Graphics. Now, if you guys see, there's three options. I will be showing each of these three options on screen. Now, each of these settings, it, it goes lower and lower. So basically you have the the low graphics and you have very low and then ultra low so you'll already be seeing that on screen now basically just to import it all you have to do is just click one of these just drag it onto nvidia profile inspector and then just press yes and it should import that's that that's all you got to do guys just drag any of these now if you guys don't want potato graphics in the game and you just want normal graphics but better performance just put scythe and drag it to the same program instead of any of these and you'll get better performance either way now for this next one basically you just want to press this i already have it open basically you want to open this just double click it press yes it'll give you a question just press yes and then once you have it open basically you'll have this on your screen now the way how i did this was basically i put 1024 as this as the first one right but the second one i put half of my ram as you see i got 16 gigs this is eight gigs i put half of it so whatever half of your ram is like let's say you have 12 you want to put six it's just like that so just put half of your ram right here and then for right here you want to check the box and then put 0 0.5 and then you want to also check these two at the bottom left right here and make sure this is at a thousand this should already be at a thousand if it's not put it here and then press start and then that's all you got to do that's all you got to do for this program and basically what it does is it will free your ram so you can have more ram for your game which gives you better performance now for the next program we got msi utility now basically you just want to right click run as administrator and you want to find your gpu now if your gpu isn't already checked with msi that means you should not check it yourself and you can't use this because it'll mess up your gpu but if it's already checked with msi then you're good basically all you got to do is go to interrupt priority on your gpu section just click the interrupt priority options as you see is undefined low normal and high just put it on high that's all you got to do for this one now for the next ones we have quick memory test okay now basically what this will do is you want to open it and once you have it open basically you just want to put this on 10 loops start the test and basically it'll test your ram to see if there's any bad bytes which there shouldn't be any but in some cases there will be and it'll tell you right here if there's any of it, any bad bytes basically if there is then that can be one reason why your game is not running good with your fps now for the registry, it's just plain and simple. Just go to each one of these and just double click and open them. Basically just double click, press yes. It'll pop up with an option like this, just press yes. Just literally do that to all of these registry. And then for the RAM tweaks, you just wanna go to how much RAM you got on your computer. So 
see i have 16 so i would click this but i already did it myself so i'm not going to but in your case if you have like 8 12 32 just click the one you have on your computer and to check this basically what you want to do is just type in task manager and as you guys see i have 16 basically your ram will show up right here how much ram you got that's how you can tell how much ram you got so just click any of these corresponding to your ram it's pretty pretty easy now for the service tweaks this is plain and simple just right click run as administrator now basically this will disable services that are not needed on a computer now if this does disable something you use and it messes up something just click enable services and it'll just revert the services that were disabled and enable them again now for fortnite if you guys want the best config file settings basically all you want to do is go click on your file explorer go to your local disk go to users go to your name of your computer c minus five then you just click app data local then you want to go to fortnite game saved config windows client basically you'll have your game user settings here now basically what you guys want to do is go to where it shows graphs and make sure this is on false now you want to go to these settings global uh, desired global illumination quality put this at zero put this at zero 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 make sure all four of these are on zero you want to scroll down and now if you guys don't know any stretch resolutions that can boost fps i will be putting it on screen for you guys some stretch resolutions you guys can use to boost the fps but also what you guys want to do is scroll down here and make sure that all of these are at zero now my view distance is on one because i put that on medium but if you guys are on a low 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 end pc i want to i want to recommend you guys to put zero now for um for textures you should also put this on zero if you're on a low low, low end pc but you could just copy my settings if you guys want if you guys enjoy the video make sure you guys subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i make an upload and i will be uploading a lot so make sure you guys stay tuned on my channel um i know i haven't been putting out a lot of tweaks and i apologize sincerely i will be putting up more i promise but uh yeah uh i would also be doing some montages randomly so you might see montage uploads but i'll mostly be doing tweaking videos for you guys to boost your fps but um yeah peace